Alright, so huge changes have come to both Valkyrian Skies and the add-on Clockwork. So Clockwork has been completely rewritten and this is going to help with future development and compatibility with other mods. The lead developer Potato has stated that there will be more frequent releases and bug fixes. For more information, you can go check out the Discord channel, which I'll be linking in the comments. Okay, so what exactly has changed? Well, first let's go into our inventory. The propeller bearing has new artwork. We can also see that the combustion engine isn't there anymore, so that's going to be added later when some changes to how frosting works uh, are made. Uh, we can also see that there's no more blooper glue. Okay, so how do we uh, make physics objects? How do we make ships? Well, we have the new item called the Auric Designator, and I'm going to show you how this works right now. Okay, so here are the blocks that we want to turn into a physics object. I'll take the Auric Designator, select the first point, select the second position, and then I'll right click on the physics infuser and we'll wait for the animation to happen. All right, so we have the dramatic sound effect, the auric designator will respawn, and now just to make sure that it's been shipified, I'm gonna press F3 and B, and we can see that it has a hitbox. We can see the yellow cube in the middle, that's the center of gravity, that's very important because that determines how it'll balance. So I'll just go ahead and destroy the physics infuser. The blocks remain as a physics object, and now everything that I add to it will be added to that physics object. So I'll just grab some more chassis and turn this into a cube. If I take a heavier block, like say netherite, I can actually tip it over. So you see, gravity has an effect. This is real physics. And what's also cool is I can use the Gravitron. So the Gravitron lets you grab physics objects and move them around. So if I grab a physics object and it hits another physics object. They'll have real collisions and they'll move as if it was real. All right, so what else? Well, we have the new propeller bearing. So how the propeller bearing works, I can add windmill sails to it. These are the windmill sails from Create Mod. And if I right click on it, you'll hear that sound and it'll assemble. And if I do something like just add a creative motor to it, I can make it spin. And this will generate thrust on physics objects, so you can make airplanes, you can use anything that uses a propeller to get around. So you can customize how your propeller looks by adding dye to it. This is from Create Mod. Um, Valkyrian Skies requires Create Mod, and they work very closely together. So now I can just right click, and the propeller bearing will start turning. So here we just have another propeller. So you can change the speed, and it'll spin faster. And if you change the direction, well, it'll also change. So another thing that stayed the same in Valkyrian Skies are the flaps. So the flap bearings just turns the flap um, one way or the other based on the redstone signal that it receives. So it requires rotational force from the back, but whenever there's a redstone signal on one side or the other, it'll turn in that direction and this is required for planes. So the next thing is the physics bearing. The physics bearing is my favorite part of this entire mod. So basically this lets you make wheels, it lets you connect physics objects together so if i do f3 and b you can see this is actually a physics object okay so it lets you create a joint between something that's more stationary and something that's more physical so you can make things like wheels or you can make this chebyshev lambda linkage what's cool about a chebyshev lambda linkage is that it creates a straight motion for a very long part of its cycle so i actually made a video on this which i'll link here and in the description if you're curious so the physics bearings actually have two modes. So this one currently, if I take my wrench, I can see it says locked or unlocked. So I can click, I can right click, and I can move it from locked. It's currently locked to unlocked. And you see when I do that, well, it responds more drastically to the gravity. So what, what do I mean? So if I take something heavier like a block of netherite and I attach it to the side, we well, see how it turns as if it would work in real life. It's very heavy, so it's gonna go to the bottom. If I break it, it's gonna go back. All right. But now if I go to locked, all right, I'm gonna put it to, if I change from unlocked to locked, what's gonna happen? Well, it's kind of gonna have a position where it wants to be. And if I add weight to it, it's only gonna turn a little bit. So it's as if it has some resistance. It's not fully locked, but it has resistance and it'll kind of return to its position if it can. So you can kind of think of it, maybe there's a spring or maybe there's just something that makes it not move as much and also want to return to its initial position. So that's the difference between locked and unlocked. So this physics bearing is not powered at the moment, so it's not gonna move. 
unless I add weights to it. This one here is powered, and it's you can see it's powered, it's spinning. So what mode is this one currently on? So this is currently, okay, that's the speed. If I go here, it's currently locked. So what does locked or unlocked do when you're powering your bearing? Well, let's see, I'll go to unlocked, and you see now it's having trouble because when it tries to turn around, ah, the stone is heavy. So it's having trouble going up, but it'll come down faster. If I lock it, we're going to see that that whole struggle, it appears to go away. So I don't know if it goes away 100%, but definitely by looking at it right now, we can see that it's much less affected. So it seems to either smooth out any sort of um, effects of the weight, uh, any sort of effect that the heavier block is having on the torque of the system. So if you want to have, I guess, a more fluid motion, you can put your bearings to locked. All right, so that's all nice, but what can we do with it? Let's take off the hit boxes. So right now, I have a propeller on this physics object. So you can see it has a hitbox. It's a physics object. The yellow cube is right here. So that has a low center of mass. So currently, we can't actually steer. There's a problem with the flaps, how they work. But I'm sure that'll be cleared up soon in the patch. So if I just flick this switch, the propeller will start turning. And oh, we're slowly moving forward. That's cool. So you can see this is producing thrust. I wanted to change the speed here. It's already going as fast as it can. All right. So if I add sails, well, it'll go faster. And sails closer to the outside have more an effect. I can't add sails right now because the bearing is assembled. I have to disassemble the bearing. So to do that, I just right click it with an empty hand. And it gets back aligned to the grid, the grid of the ship, not the grid of the world. I'll just add these sails on, reassemble it. And now we're going to have a lot more thrust because we have, we added eight sails and we added those to the outside. So now you see we're moving quite a bit faster. All right. So that's how propellers work. Now... This is something cool, and this is made possible with the physics bearing. So I said the physics bearing was my favorite block. This is why. You can make cars. You can make anything that has wheels. All right? So one of the really cool things about the changes um, is we now have level of detail. So level of detail actually comes from Valkyrian Skies. It's not from Clockwork. It's from the base mod Valkyrian Skies, which is the physics. All right? All the physics is in Valkyrian Skies. Clockwork is an add-on that adds content, like the bearings, like the propellers. All right, so right now we have these wheels. Before, something like a stair would have been interpreted as a full block by Valkyrian Sky. So you couldn't have, it was hard to make wheels because a whole block was the smallest resolution that you can get. Now you can even put something as small as a trapdoor and it'll act exactly as if it were the size of a trapdoor, not as if it were a whole block. So we're closer to getting round wheels. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the command chair. There's a little glitch right now where it looks like it spins. That's because I'm using shaders. Um, but basically, I can move around. So I can go forward. I can turn. And it's just a lot of fun. I mean, come on. Like, cars in Minecraft, that's just amazing. So this is a lot of fun. I can go around. And I can even go over some obstacles. Let's see what happens here when I run over these cubes. All right. So I'm just going over them. So it's a bit of an all-terrain car. I mean, it's a flat world, and these are just a few cubes, but this would be able to go over some minor obstacles in a regular world. There's new changes to Clockwork and Valkyrian Skies. I'll add a link in the description to the Discord where you can download both of these. Um, it's currently available for both Forge and Fabric on 1.18. Uh, you also need to use Crate Mod 0.5.1. It's not going to work with other versions. So there you have it, the new changes to Valkyrian Skies and the Clockwork add-on. If you found this video helpful and you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing and activating notifications. Thank you for watching.